Hello, and welcome to the Invest with Carl podcast. I'm your host, Jamie Eppenberg, and a member of the Carl team. Today, we're speaking with Cy Smith, uh, who is a co-founder and board member of Carl. So he's been with us <laughs> since the very beginning. Prior, he has headed two different technology companies with a successful exits, one in 1980 and one in 2000. So Sai has certainly been around the block in the land of startup before startup was cool and savvy. Sai, welcome to the show. Thanks, Jamie. I'm just, Sai made it cool. That's what I meant to say. Sai made it all cool. <laughs> all right. That's right. <laughs> really good to have you. Um, and today we're chatting with Sai about one of our new investment strategies called Fuji, uh, the latest mountain in the ranges. So um, Sai, this one is interesting. So normally our investments are, um, you know, very, uh, we're, we're, they're on a two in 20, 2% management fees, 20% performance fees. They're kind of long most of the time. Um, this one is very different, right? Not really um, anything Carl has done before. So why don't you just give us an overview? Sure. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Carl, we offer uh, investment strategies uh, that makes it real easy to invest using a mobile app. And you can invest on this mobile app in a number of different strategies. Most of those are quantitative hedge funds. And Fuji's a little different. Um, you know, we had a lot of requests um, over the last couple of years to introduce some cryptocurrency funds. This one is uh, is one of those. However, it's unique in that from other cryptocurrencies in that it's it's basically it um, it ties stable coins to one or more currencies, typically the U.S. dollar or the euro or the Swiss franc. So you have very very little risk in this particular fund. And you can get a good, solid return that's fairly constant um, throughout the years. And uh, it's it's one that a lot of our investors have migrated towards with uh, increased volatility of so many of the stocks and, and bonds that weren't quite ready to jump into quant investing. But uh, but Fuji, Fuji offers a great alternative for them. So... That's uh, tell us a little bit about why would someone need one of these stable coins that ties to a currency? Um, how how does this become an investment vehicle? Well, so a stable coin is it, it is a cryptocurrency based on blockchain, just like cryptocurrency is, and but it's it's tied to uh, a backing currency. So while it it may be pegged to the dollar, and it, in a sense, it's almost like a loan that you make with an interest bearing loan. You make interest on this on this on this strategy. And the interest is typically going to be somewhere between five and seven percent per year. So it's it's certainly not something that's going to provide the kind of return that a lot of our our quant strategies provide, but it also has practically zero risk. So our counterparty is Gemini, which is a four billion dollar company and they're the largest uh, such company in uh, in the world, and they provide uh, they provide the backing for this, so it's very solid, practically zero percent volatility, and you know as I mentioned, between five and seven percent annualized return. Right. So the returns are a little bit different than our um, investors might see in our other strategies. Right. It's a right. lower, right. but the point is, uh, if I heard you correctly, the risk is also uh, less. It's a lower That's risk. That's exactly overall. right. Yep. And the measure of volatility for this fund is zero, which is sent, in essence means zero, zero risk. It's not completely zero risk. If something were to happen to Gemini and they went out of business, of course, there's risk with that. However, it's uh, there's a very low, low risk of something like that occurring. So this is a coin we actually offer to Gemini, and then Gemini uses it on its own platform um, to, in order, I assume, to to facilitate um, cryptocurrency exchanges, right? Is that what they do? Or that's right. It's it's like a loan to, to Gemini, so uh, it's a loan that they pay interest on. Uh, you get interest monthly, and like all of our other strategies, you're able to go in every day, every minute, every hour, see the value of uh, of Fuji investment, and you know you can therefore decide whether it's uh, it's something you like or don't like. If you don't like it, then you can also always uh, always exchange it for some other funds or, or get your money back. So uh, as far as entering into the world of crypto, I heard you say a couple of things, because usually when I hear crypto, my mind as a 
more old school U.S. banker, uh, I'm like, oh boy, here we go. Like high risk, risk of like how people feel about it, how we're feeling about crypto today. Yeah. Like, is anybody tweeting about crypto today? That's a personal opinion, by the way, investors. Yeah. It's just oh, yeah. feel about it. Um, so I hear crypto and I'm like, oh, what tweets are we paying attention to? Um, this one, I didn't hear any of that. Like this is no. a way to enter crypto without yeah, that. that's a that's a great question. And yeah, when you think about cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ether, and you look at the volatility, I mean, those those will have extreme uh, changes, you know, on a month to month, even day to day basis. You know, for example, there's the, the famous story about the guy who bought pizza, two pizzas with Bitcoin. It was valued at one uh, at, at one thing one day, and, and and almost it was like paying two million dollars for a pizza. This is not like that, and uh, you know it it has a cool word like stable coin, so you could take that word stable, and uh, and apply it to your thinking, in that you know it really is stable. Um, it's better, way better than cash. You know, you, even the dollar could be could have some risk. It might go down in value one day to the next, or one month to the next. In that same way, it's possible that Fuji value could go down because it is tied to the value of a dollar or a euro. However, the difference between just being holding it cash is you're going to get interest on this. So we're loaning this stable coin to Gemini, and Gemini pays interest on that. And they pay interest to the tune, as I mentioned, of between five and seven percent. And there's, you know, the only the only reason it might not be one versus the other. It's not a fixed interest rate. It's tied to the value of this currency. Right. So, I, I mean, overall, you know, I, I know we've had uh, clients who have, have asked us about adding crypto and we have, we have pretty strict risk guidelines um, on the Carl platform overall. So it's um, tough for us to just go add any old coin. This was kind of a way for us to wade into it. I think it also, we heard a lot of folks looking for something that was, uh, well, to use the word, maybe maybe instead of stable, I'll say something that was more consistent with lower risk. Right. Um, closer, I would say closer to a fixed asset investment, but this is not fixed asset. I just want to make that clear, but it's closer to that type, would you say? Exactly. It, it definitely is. It is. It is backed by a, an asset, so it, since it's asset based, it would be like, you know, the um, loaning someone money to buy a house. You know, if they default on that loan, you can take the house and you'll get your money or some percentage of your money or maybe more back. And this is very similar to that. It just so happens that the asset that it's backed by is uh, is a, a current currency, the cryptocurrency, right? Um, so um now and I will just, say it's not a cryptocurrency. So it's not it's not backed by Bitcoin or anything that's that volatile. It's backed by something that's hardly volatile at all, which is which is again a, a US dollar or a Swiss franc or a uh a euro. Right. Very different. Good point. Um so with this stable coin, and not instead of cryptocurrency, with this stable coin. Uh, on the Carl platform, does it behave like the other strategies as far as you mentioned this a little bit? You can buy it, you can sell it. Is there anything different in its um, parameters on the Carl platform? No, none whatsoever. Um, just like with the other investment strategies, you've got pure liquidity on a monthly basis. Um, if you want to move it out or get your money back or move it over to uh, El Capitan or Matterhorn or one of the other great strategies that we have on our platform, you can do that uh, every, every month if you wanted to. Great. So um, even with the stablecoin and, and giving a loan, it's like we still have monthly liquidity and and all of the additional benefits that still come with the I guess the democratization of hedge funds, as we say, exactly. um, this, this, would you call this a hedge fund or is this a little bit different for Carl in that way as well? It's a bit different. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call this a hedge fund. This is not necessarily a hedge fund. Yeah. So a little bit of branching out for us, um, looking to get our clients what they're looking for while making sure that the investment is unique, um, and helps round out their alternative portfolio. Exactly. I guess from a risk perspective, we're bringing risk down. It may not be, it may not have the same types of returns that sometimes go into the 15 or above percent as some of the other assets, but 
We wanted to get the clients what they were asking for, which is a more stable or consistent return with lower risk. Um, is there anything else or any final words on Fuji for our investors and listeners this week? No, I think we've we've covered the basics. Um, you know, there's there's the um, like with all of our other funds, you can find out the statistics on Fuji, what they've done over the last month, day, six six months, year. So all of those statistics are there, and uh, would definitely encourage everyone to check it out if uh, if you're looking for something that maybe a little lower return, but also a lot lower risk. All right. I'm going to recap this one for our investors. And Sai, you keep me honest, since it is kind of different for us. Um, just a little bit. So you you let me know if I got this right. We have a stable coin that we are basically extending a loan to Gemini, our Carl partner. And um, they they return the funds to us, right? The the stable coin allows them to return the funds. And with that, they pay us a little, they pay investors a little bit of interest with it. And that's how the fund makes its return, which means that I, I guess I'm going to repeat this back and you tell me if I'm right. We that there's literally only the insolvency risk of Gemini not being available, not being able to return uh the loan. That is the risk on the fund. Is that correct? That that's it, and and perhaps any volatility that might be associated with the currency, with like the currency, right? Right. Yes, yes, with the currency. All right, so uh, a pretty stable return on the stable coin as Fuji on the Carl platform now available on the Carl platform. Um, as I did mention, the statistics for Fuji are available. If you go to the little magnifying analyze section of the app and you go to information, you can find all the statistics he was talking about. Um, should be very interesting. This is a, a little bit of a different kind of digitized investment. Uh, we all we hope you all enjoyed uh, uh, enjoyed the episode this week. We enjoyed talking to you and we will see you next time. Bye-bye now. Thanks, Davey. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Invest with Carl podcast. The views shared on this podcast do not necessarily reflect the views of Carl. This podcast is intended for informational purposes only and is not intended to constitute and should not be deemed to be an offer to sell or a solicitation of an offer to buy any security or investment, financial advisory, legal, tax, accounting, or other professional advice. Carl funds are currently available to accredited investors with a minimum investment of $20,000. To learn more about Carl and to download the Carl app, go to invest with Carl dot com.